All right, so we fired our previous dummy and we got a new one. No, um, I wanted to demonstrate this technique on uh, this dummy because if I were to do it on Roger, you can't really see the full spectrum of where I'm trying to go. Okay, so we're here where we have this uh, rear naked choke. I really like this option too of holding the back of the head. If you remember in our rear naked choke section before, they need to be able to grab this part of my hand to defend the choke. So I completely hide it when I'm doing this choke to give him no access to my arm at all. From here, I can go wrist over wrist and the um, sign of a great rear naked choke is you could see the fingernails on the other side. Also, I have my chin over my arm protecting my hand. I'm not doing this where my arm could be easily pulled off and separated. I sneak this behind the hand with my fingernails exposed and I lock it in with my chin. If I'm worried about even being poked in the eyes or prodded, I can keep my eyes closed and I can put them into his head. Now, the actual squeeze from here takes some time to develop. I thought when I first learned this technique, my rear naked choke squeeze was unstoppable and it could finish anybody, but it's really not the case. When I tried this on a black belt, because my squeeze wasn't good, um, he was able to easily escape. And I was really shocked by this. So your squeeze is something that you develop with practice over time, okay? So with that being said, I'm here, I'm protecting, and I have all of my essential elements in place. The squeeze is not necessarily me flexing with my biceps and my arm here. But what I want to do is I want to finish with a rotational method where I'm taking my elbow and I'm de basically decapitating them. I'm putting their head completely behind their body. So I'm here. I use my chest and my back to pull. And I'm going to rotate the person and I'm able to enact incredible squeezing pressure from this type of hold. So here again, we go one, two, three. And I finish with a rotational finish that I wouldn't want to do to our poor friend Roger.